Welcome to Inside the U. Special All-Star Winner 2024 Selections Podcast. Let's go. Coming to you somewhat live. Always a popular one. Somewhat live. <laughs> somewhat live. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Saturday, 7 p.m. Premiering. Everything. So we're going to jump right into it. Yeah. We're not going to leave everybody waiting. I but, am. Uh, Going to start with a quick intro. Fine, dude. For all you <laughs> noobs here coming to check out the All-Star Selections, welcome to Inside of You, the ultimate adult hockey podcast. Each week, we're bringing insider topics, special guests, and slight entertainment from the world of adult hockey, along with discussions and updates around our league. I'm Larry, joined as usual by Steve and Jerry the Greek, and this week, we have a special edition of Inside the You. We are premiering and announcing the results of our All-Star community vote. Um, we're recapping week 11, previewing week 12, catching up on new fantasy. And of course, wrapping up, um, with commission notes and all that good stuff. So before we get into all that, I just want to ask if you guys continue sharing the show. We appreciate all your help so far and something as small as sharing this episode contributes to growing the UHL as a whole. So without further ado, shall we get into it? Yeah, man. We went through, what was that? 15 days of voting. Yeah. A few teams a day. A lot of engagement, I will say. Jerry, great idea. Yeah, it was a good idea. I'm, <laughs> glad, it <laughs> I'm glad it worked out. I'm glad it worked out. No, yeah, we had some pushback. Over, we had some skeptics. over brunch, but I think hundred uh, percent skeptics. Steve, I uh, didn't think it was a good idea, but me and Larry were Jeez. really uh, pushing for it. We wanted to create something that we could uh, scale out. So yeah. as we as we grow and and have more and more leagues, we we. We obviously can't be intimate like like most of these players we know we've watched yeah. we've seen um, played but, with played against exactly so uh, yeah. kind of tough to to do that as we grow and 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 have so many more teams so many more players I mean there's a couple guys on this list that I was like who the hell are these and I'm the one who deals with the rosters. yeah it's not it's good though <laughs> um, it did work out it worked out nicely yes so um, it definitely worked you guys got you got a lot of votes a lot of votes a lot of like new followers a lot of nice. people sharing the stories which I didn't expect I'll be honest that's um, what I said though I was like that's I know what's gonna I, I know I just I don't know you know <laughs> they're gonna share I, to their friends or family I get on the fence about who's really engaged and they people are always way more engaged than I expect them to be I don't know what yeah. it is but Appreciate I mean, you all a lot. Yeah. The word's out. I mean, everybody knows that when we do the All-Star game, it is is so much fun. Yeah, that's you know, true, yeah. We put on a show. We put on production. There's so much stuff going on. We obviously have the post video yeah. and um, everything that we promote. And it's just a great, fun game. Yeah. I mean, it's like nothing that, you know, you can do as an adult, which is really, you know. Yeah. I don't even know if. Yes, anybody else, youth teams do it. You know what I mean? The way that we go, yeah. go through it. Well, no, it's just like that's like bragging rights among your fucking boys. But mm -hmm. like this is uh, an event. We yeah. call it a all star event for a reason. And besides free ice and playing some hockey, like there's a lot more shit that goes into it um, yeah. from an entertainment aspect. It um, is. It's an event. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> so we got a lot of like announcements around that. We'll get into that a little bit later. Um, what I was doing with the stories was basically I would go to each team and I would find the top scoring player or contributor. I would find who's on forward mm -hmm. and I would try, I would find the top contributing defenseman. Oh, okay. And then basically I would break it down see who's got the most goals, who's got the most assists. Um, I sort I sort of got into a rhythm and I think I was pretty consistent, but basically the idea was to like really try to find the most impactful players on each team and then leave that up to a vote. Um, in a lot of cases, you know, like, the highest, the biggest, the, the best contributors got in, but we also got some like feedback about people that, you know, they just wanted to see them get it. Like, uh, John or you know, whatever the plugs, uh, ended up like reaching out to me. They wanted a specific guy to get into the, the mm -hmm. nomination. And then he ended up getting voted onto the all-star game. So shit that's, like that, like, that's awesome. Um, ended up working out with quite a few teams, you know what I mean? And it just like really worked out nicely Yeah, where we got a solid spread of like the best players, but also, players that have been around for a while. Um, and it, just, it worked out really, really well. Yeah, we got some familiar faces that yeah. have been probably in every single All-Star game, but we also some. got some that, that didn't. I'm actually, I, now that I'm looking over this list, I'm it's like we're missing one. Yeah, I know we are. You know who I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. I told you. I said that earlier. I was That's like, tough, I was like, dude. I was like, someone lost a bid. He lost a bid. He lost one <laughs> bid for a specific reason. He would have made it too. He would have made it. Of course, yeah. he would have made it. Yep. Um, and he almost did. Still, you know, yes. the obviously, big contributor. Um, uh, but did but we, what did, did we ended up? With? How many? Because we did thirty. You ended up with the thirty-one, <laughs> then, right? Thirty-one teams. Uh, yeah, yeah, thirty. So we do have an extra spot. So we may have to shoot him in. 
We have 31, yeah. 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 Because he would have made it for the team. So we had... Uh, I think I agree with that. Yeah. So, because uh, our plan was 32, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are short yeah, one. Yeah, so we're short one. Huh. So, um, I think we may... Uh, we okay. May, you know. Cool. We'll but but it. even still, like, there are familiar faces. It's me. But, I'm just kidding. Yeah, right? <laughs> there are familiar faces, but, like, 80% are is kind of new people, new yes. faces. And that's what I want to do. That's what I wanted with the vote. And it because, really is like, if you look at yeah. the roster. I mean. Yeah, I wanted new people there. Yeah. I wanted other people to be able to experience it. Um, even people that, like, there's a couple on here that I'm really excited about. Yeah. Because they're, like, good guys, good players. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, so Support, we get to it. Supporters. Should supporters. we get into it? We should get to it. Yeah, we I, waited, I don't know. Let's talk about something long else. Enough, dude. What else, you guys? How was your day? Uh, so we're so, that wraps <laughs> up the pod. So yeah. uh, we'll go with um, uh, division by division. So we will start with gold, uh, representing Team Night's Watch, uh, a former All Star, yeah. Sean Lippincott, nice. made the vote. Uh, team twenty four seven. No surprise here. Aaron Huffnagel made it in. Um, points. Would you say 40, 40 points? points? Yeah. I think it may be 43. At the time of recording? Yeah, That's exactly. Silly. So, um, next one, well-deserved. Hawks gold, Garrett Quinn. My boy. Good guy. He good just, player, He just finished too. his uh, 75 hard today. Did he? Yeah. Wow. Show it on the ice, baby. Yeah, dude. He's been lighting yeah, he, it up. He flies man. around. Uh, my favorite all-star. <laughs> yes, sir. Representing uh, Armada. You got to do it, though. Nat Atchion. Atchion. Got to yep. be Nat. It's got to be Nat. Um, so, yeah, that wraps up gold. Uh, who we're missing is a savage monkey, <laughs> and uh, Robert Bascow would have definitely made it for that team. Yep. So yeah, you know we'll write him in. Yeah, I mean his face is on the website, so yes, I, feel I like think he should, he should be in the All Star game. Yeah, and uh, you know he does have one other chance with the Hawks, but didn't quite work out. Didn't get it was close. Work. It was close. Was he in the vote? Let me bring up. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course okay. he was in the vote. Oh, he um, only got what like three games with you guys. Oh, oh, silver. You're talking about silver. Oh, oh yeah, yes. yeah. I thought you were talking about. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, he oh, got for gold. Yeah, he wasn't in. Yeah, he wasn't in the gold vote. But yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, he's picked up off of waivers. Yeah, for Hawks gold. He's just, <laughs> just want to be a Hulk. signed him off waivers, baby. Everywhere, dude. Let's go. All right, you ready? Silver I over. am ready. I was, was going to bring up some of the voting distribution if you want. You know, just That's to kind of have it. Um, whatever. Yeah, good. So, <laughs> so silver division, uh, Rain City, Ross Bryan as usual. So uh, love having Ross there. Uh, yeah, he's fun to watch, especially in All Star game. Yeah, puts on a show himself. So uh, glad to have him back for 27 the... apples. That was a tight race between him and Kyle, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Maybe uh, Ross will let Kyle play. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> Just kidding. He um, <laughs> if he wants to, it's up to him. Uh, you know, anybody who cannot make it, obviously, we can go. Uh, we'll probably leave it up to the captain. Say if you who who you want to send. Yes, yeah. that was your that was your suggestion, right? Just um, let the captains decide. I would say, re- what about the second person? I was going to say, yeah, we could also leave it down to the second uh, Vote. highest voter. Um, my, my initial suggestion about selecting was to leave it up to the captains, but this worked out nicely. So yeah, so. Um, <clears throat> Representing the Hawks, young blood, the yeah, kid Hunter yeah, Irera, who's actually been uh, lighting it the heck up. Yeah, Hunter of old is back. There you go. Yeah, he's had a couple games where fucking yeah, he's rattled killing. off like four or five goals. Yeah, I mean, even um, in the tournament, man, what do you have six goals that one game? Uh, I think so. I mean, at the time of this, I'm pretty sure this was before the Bulldogs game. He had 13 racked up already. Yeah, um, when he scored five, four in that game. Yeah, and of yeah. course, you know. Uh, him and Bascal were up from Hawk Silver, and you know yeah. the kid had a little bit of uh, some support coming in. You know what I mean? So <laughs> he did. Yeah, I love seeing Hunter score. He's uh, he gets all excited. Dude. Yeah, he does. It's it's, it's uh, fun to watch. He scores big goals, dude. He, he does. He's, does. He's like real reliable around the net. Dude. He, he is. Really yeah, is. he scores big goals. Uh, multi ducks. Rick Sansini. That's kind of Italian. That's very Italian. That's Sansini. Sansini. <laughs> Rick. All right. Congrats, Rick. Uh. Blue Chew Bulldogs, Anthony Carella. 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 There's a lot of Italians. There's a freak, you know, <laughs> I didn't know Italians play that so much they hockey. They play a lot man. of hockey. It's all daisy. Yeah. All right. uh, Spaghetti and hockey. That's what they do. Right, let's go. Uh, Militia. Uh, Captain Jeff Spore is the winner for that, which is good. He's a great guy. I was going to say Captain. Yeah. 14 points. Yes, sir. There you go. Uh, Team Dexter, Dan and Beezy. Uh, Paisano's Ryan Magan. Yes, sir. I played hockey with him for a long time. Yeah, that's yeah. his name, right? Ryan Megan. Megan. Yeah, Megan. Got it. Okay, I never. Uh, I Shouts never... out to my boy. I got a couple of familiar faces finding their way back to the UHL, which <laughs> is really fun. I believe Ryan will be joining us um, for Hawks Gold. 
So he'll be joining oh, the wow. uh, Hawks network next season. Nice. All roads, guys. Congratulations. All roads. Lead Welcome. to the Hawks. Then. Welcome, baby. <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>. um, <laughs> all right. So that wraps up silver. Um, now nice. we move on to uh, bronze plus. So otters, uh, Stephen Linville. Familiar Great player. Face. Yeah, familiar face. 21 points. Solid. Been here since day one. Yeah, man. They, they, Another young. A young couple in. of those otters guys played, you know, when we first started. Yes. He made it. I believe he made it last season and couldn't make it. I yeah, I so. think so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Stratosphere Stars, Jack Amon. Amon. How do we I not, never asked uh, him. I don't got to ask I was going to say, how do we not know I just call him Jack. I don't know. 20 points. 20 points. Right. He's had a great Banger. season, too. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad he showed up uh, on this list because he didn't show up to the last game when I picked For him. You, you fan? That's what you get, dude. You fan? <laughs> Damn it, Jack. Love it's all right. Congrats on the appreciate you, Jack. Yes, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thundercats, Tom Becker, great yeah. player. Yeah, yeah. They have a couple of great players. Yeah, I got actually got a couple of texts that that said that he should be the one. Fourteen apples. Yeah, man. Um, he naturally found his way because he didn't communicate that message to me, but he naturally <laughs> found his way onto the top four and uh, as a I, defender, the community spoke. I yeah, got a def- lot of texts, like yep. either whether asking you did, yeah, whether oh, okay. asking me to vote. For somebody or them who was texting really? me, yeah, or like make sure you, if you add them to the nominations, nice. which you had already done. But I was gonna um, say you didn't. So uh, I got a lot of complaints <laughs> it, that they weren't on the nomination. Is it who? Yeah, uh, I isn't it great how he like keeps us in the? Loop? I was gonna say like I, I got a couple of messages, but I didn't realize all this shit was Jeez, going on. I'm yeah. just like. I just this thing. Yeah, but you didn't say anything to me. <laughs> I was the one running the player. stories. I only get like a hundred texts a day. Yeah, but I was running the stories. <laughs> oh, you didn't, you oh, didn't tell no, me. No, he gets a hundred texts a day. I'm just I saying mean, that's not my point. My point is you didn't. When you, you didn't six, forward the message, seven hundred players. Dude, I feel know. like ninety of them is from us. But no, no, I meant like league related stuff. There's yeah. all stuff going. Sorry. on. Sorry. So, uh, guys, take it easy on the commission. He's busy. Yeah, and if you well, you, you guys just think this runs on its own, and if you asked him to be on the the list and you weren't, it's because he didn't say anything to anybody. Correct. Correct. That's right. <laughs> he let the system just work itself out. It worked. Yes. Yes. It All right. All right, Tom. Moonshine. Yes. It, another. It's his second All Star game. It yes, is. it is. It's a spicy meat the ball. It's yeah. a spicy meat the ball. Liga man. Liga man. Liga man. And if you recall, last season it was like, oh, let's get some captains in. You know, mm-hmm. show some appreciation. But this season, it. it's like he earned it. He earned it. He made a statement. Let's go. Boom. Meat ball. Couldn't well deserved. Have. Well deserved. Yeah, I appreciate that. Oh yeah. So Knights. Kevin Magnan, goal scorer, man. Yeah, that's insane. That guy's a goal scorer. Seventeen goals. Every time I watch him, he scores goals. Dude. Seventeen goals. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. That's my career total, I think. Yeah. You know what? Real <laughs> quick. Real quick. Um, uh, so we got, I don't think Embezzi's a, a defenseman, but no. real quick up to this point, we got two defensemen, Tom Becker and L- Antonio Ligameri. Ligameri. So I uh, tried. I tried to get some defensemen in the mix. I don't think we ended up with well, too It looks many, like Embezzi can play both. He's a forward defense. Yeah, but that's a little that's bit usually, like, unknown. Uh, yeah, it's unknown. I think he play, he's pretty sure he plays forward. Okay. Gotcha. Last time we didn't play, we only played Dexter like twice this year. Right? Oh, basketball, good defense. Yeah, yeah, basketball play defense. Um, we got a couple more done list. All right, uh, big year from Jordy here. So mm-hmm. with representing the Koopas, Jordy Magetti. Yeah, man, thirty points. So strange. That's a lot. Yeah, he plays for Rain City too. That's a lot. So, oh, the, oh, that's Jordy. Mm-hmm. I thought that was Matt. No, Jordy does. Yeah. Right? Okay. Okay. Right. I thought there's it was a, a lot of Magetti. I thought it was Matt who played Straight, on, right? on Rain it's City. Three. Three Magadies. And I yes. think they don't they all have thirty points or twenty nine yeah. like they yes. all, all three of them. All were, three of them were on the list. They're all <laughs> they're all lighting it up, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> um Glassberg Goop. Darren Dark Angelo. Yeah. Nice. Beast, bro. Yeah. Dark Angelo. Good for you. So uh Team Dexter Bronze Plus. I'm happy about this one. Yeah, this was uh decided by like two votes. Yeah. Between him and uh, Bianchi. Okay. Like it nice. was real close. Yes. But man. I am also happy about this one. Yes. Matt Angelo. Just played with him last night. Yeah. Great guy. Great player. So uh, he gets his uh, first all-star game. That's, that's pretty a, sweet. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. That, that's one of the, the scenarios where I, I really like how this played out. Starting to get jealous, dude. <laughs> oh, you're not playing? Yeah. You got to work. You'll yeah. never play in one of these. Come on, dude. That's not I'm true. That's yes, not true it's very true. It's 100% true. No, it's it, not. I'm trying to make my comeback. No, here, listen, dude. man. I'm going to make it. That'll un- be fun. No. That'll be fun. I'm going to make it undeniable. Absolutely not. Whatever, dude. You will never play in one of these. I'm going to make it undeniable. <laughs> Jerry's a hater, dude. Not a hater. I, a hater. It, it's no, it's no dig at your qualifications as a player, bro. It's some we're gonna be doing this forever. 
for like <laughs> ever. I'm fucking playing him. That's, never. At some point, you like, he's not are gonna have to, to work. Work. No, check in people at the, yep. nope. the st- he's table. You are going to be at the table every time making copies. Making copies? That's 100% that's what's going to yeah. happen. Making okay. copies. All right. That's, that's copy, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. God damn, dude. All right. Representing Jersey Trash, <laughs> Mitch Pop. Papemma. Papemma. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry. Right, I got my... need your readers? Yeah, yeah I need my readers. Papemma. <laughs> Pop. Yeah. Papemma. This is his nickname. Do people call him Pop? Pop? Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah. What's up, Pop? It's logical. So, uh, representing the Warriors, Alex Blickle. Yeah. Never heard of him. I was going to say, I've never heard of him. Never either, heard of him. But he won in with flying colors. Yes. That's Blickle. all that matters, dude. Yeah. All right. That wraps up Bronze Plus. So, uh... Uh, Reiner, if you're a captain listening, we will be reaching out to make sure you can confirm with your player. Yes, and we have second winners too. And yeah, of course. If you know, captain nominates a secondary guy, that's cool too. Whatever, whatever works. Yeah, yeah. Please show up because Steve's going to input himself. We don't want that to happen. Yes, yes. Gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I will be. I will be Alex Blickle for a night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, bronze, JMCC Auto, John Silverio. It's a video. There there yes. 18 points. Yeah. He's a, uh, I was told a uh, couple by a couple of people that he's a great player. He is. I've watched I haven't him. got a chance to see him yet. I haven't I've, watched JMCC auto. Play. Definitely I, great I, we player. Pl- we um, played them. I don't think I was there for that game. He's played a limited amount of games, although he did make the cutoff, I believe. Okay. Nice. There, I think for the Camden County Warriors, I had to make an exception, but everyone yes. else has played at least six games. Yeah. That nice. was the cutoff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Camden County Warriors just has a 30 players roster. So yeah. you never know who's going to come. Yeah. But, uh, which has always been that way, so mm-hmm. nothing different. Um, so representing the plugs, John Corey. This was um, Corey, right? Corey. Yeah, John. I would Corey. say Corey. You should ask everybody how to pronounce their name before I do the podcast. <laughs> That's okay. I think a lot uh, of players. This is the one that texting they, you too. You're really busy, so this yeah. is the one that um, requested. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, okay. I didn't. I didn't mean to put him out, but Josh reached out to me. He's like, "Yeah, make sure you get a uh, Corey on there," and he was like right on the. The cutoff, so it made sense. What Josh uh, Taylor? Yeah, Josh okay. reached out to me and just said to make sure you get him on there. But like I said, he was like right on the, like he would have been. He basically would have made it anyway. So yeah, just and then it, and then it followed up with he won the vote. So. Yeah, they all all the plugs they hung out after the Hawks Bronze game. Mm-hmm. Nice. So we were all out in the lobby and they were oh, watching nice. the games. So. Yeah, they're good guys. They are the yeah. plugs. Uh, plugs. Camden County Warriors Captain Jonathan Ortiz. Nice. Yes, sir. Yeah, he's the captain. Yes, sir. I like that. That works out nicely. He's a good captain, too. Come on, I always appreciate and good captains. A defenseman. Yes. A defenseman, baby. Yeah. Let's go. He does play defense. Uh, Dunlop's Jersey Tropics. Uh-oh. Let's go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> Steady didn't have a doubt, dude. There was no doubt. There was yeah. no, no doubt. doubt. <laughs> he said he got in. Yeah. Uh, what did he have? A lot of votes. He did, yeah, but <laughs> I just... I, you, you knew know, it was going to be him. I you just, knew. You knew it, yeah. yeah. I mean... Okay. Face the face of the trops, dude. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Chuggernauts, Brian Clegg, Yo, as usual. 22 points, baby. Yeah. He's, he's definitely a great player. Uh, hard to play against. Are they, are they still, are they, they're in a playoff spot, right? Yeah. The Chuggies? They're up there, man. Second or we'll third. We'll take a look at the playoff picture a little bit later. Uh, representing the South Jersey Sugar Bush, Jessalyn Wright. Yes. Uh, I was watching the Sugar Bush game last night. She got a little rough with one of the, uh. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. She, like, uh. I like um, shit, bro. face wash the guy like grabbed his like in his like helmet i don't That's know if she knew it was chris fitzgerald the captain of the uh, <laughs> of, uh <laughs> the plugs and uh yeah they oh, were, i don't know like he was he seemed a little upset over it, so i was like oh because oh, yeah. at first i thought it was like they were just messing like around yeah yeah but she got you know she got him right in the helmet was like pulled his helmet down a little That's bit and i was like oh shit man Okay. Yeah, she's, she's good. Little, she she's was good one um, where a lot of people, you know, we, we caught a couple extra followers. They came in and shared the story, and I think okay. she had a little bit of a campaign behind her. You nice, know what I mean? nice, so, awesome. Got quite a few, uh, quite a few players on the bushies. So, yeah. it, so it was the right pick. Yes, I think so. Oh, her name. Fuck you. That is funny. Mm-hmm. No. All right, next one. I'm very excited about. Did you say no, <laughs> no. Not funny. <laughs> uh, I did spill the beans. You wow. told, yeah. you told them. I, had to, I can't keep ah, secrets to you, yeah, man. Well, bro. Well deserved here. Hawks dude. bronze. Uh, I love it. Brandon Toonstall. Yeah. To unit, dude. Awesome. Bro. I saw he got a little into it with um, what was the Thundercats game. He yeah, had a couple penalties. Yeah, T you know, unit gets into it. I love yeah, it. he does. He does. Yeah, he gets, yeah, he gets fiery. Yeah, yeah he does. toe drag T unit. 
That's what I call him, dude. <laughs> yeah, He's got a nice. wicked toe jerk. He really does. He pulls that out of nowhere <laughs> yeah, sometimes, dude. At least once a game, dude. He's, he just yeah. It's the old school. It's like the full-blown, you yeah. know? So, uh, I love it. So, uh, congrats, Brandon. Yes, uh, Sheep Hockey, Mike Kundratas? Kundratas, I'm going to say. Kundratas. It's, you said it's Greek. I don't know. It looks Greek. Mike's a Greek name. You don't think Kundratas is the right way to say it? I think it's Kundrotas. Kundrotas? Kundrotas. Kundrotas. Right. We should ask. Whatever you say. We'll ask. I want to take a good. bet on that. Kundrotas. What did I say? Kundrotas. You said Kundratas. Kundratas. You like turned it like. Yeah, that's a little much. Check, yeah. man. Kundrotas. Whatever. Yeah. You yeah, I did. Too, you went too You're far. You're damn right, right I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I think I'm right. Yeah, right. you may be right. Uh, look him up. Uh, What's the next one, bro? Well, that's KK. KK would know. Yeah, he would know. Uh, Voorhees Recyclers, Tim Lopez. He had a, he had a season. He's got 18 he, points. He yeah. did last season, too. He made yeah. the All-Star game last season. Yeah. Good good player. Just, like, consistent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Always gets, like, three or four points. Yeah. Did absolutely. you see, he, like, he commented, because I picked him in fantasy last week, and he was like, I'm yeah. sorry, Larry. <laughs> he but he ended up, like, hurting something. his wrist yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. He seems yeah. like he's good, because like, he, he had five points this week. Yeah, man. <clears throat> All right. Last uh, of the bronze division, Shaka's. Yo. Uh, Captain Sean Hastings makes it. All right, Sean. Yeah. He was, uh, he was in the, the, the rusty bye. comp last, last season. He won, right? he won it. <laughs> he, he won the rusty comp. Nice, wow, look dude. at that, baby. From rusty competition winner to all star <laughs> let's fucking let's go. go oh man we might be uh having to give him the old boot i don't know yeah yeah you make an all-star game i mean yeah it doesn't sound like rusty material <laughs> sorry sean i mean uh, can't have it both ways buddy that's all awesome. right so now we have uh we're so we wrapped up all the players now we're gonna get into the goaltenders yeah yeah, yeah. a little upset we're missing one we are we're missing a couple yeah um, but the stats don't lie, dude. The stats don't lie. It's, it went to vote, right? Yeah. I, again, similar to how I did it with all of our teams, I went and found the top save percentages, and I made sure the games cut off, and it worked yeah. out. And I just, I didn't want to, I didn't want to pick favorites. I wanted to let the numbers do the talking. Could you, so, t- could you tell us uh, who was in the vote for the starting? Yeah. The so I know we're missing this uh, one close to our hearts, obviously. <laughs> um, but. Uh, you're asking who the the top right. six were? Yeah, who were the nominees <clears throat> for? Uh, what'd you do? So the top four. So okay. so what I did was I picked the top four uh, save percentages and like games played, and those were up for our starters. So okay. Brad Shooks the um, on Rain City, John Hood on the Camden County Warriors, and then the next two were Shane Lippincott from Nights Watch and Christian Graham on the Otters. Okay. Um, John Hood and Shooksta obviously won, you know, the the top two votes on that. So then I carried over Shane and Christian and paired them up with um, Mike Ravencamp on the Sugar Bush and then Dominic Burmeister on JMCC Auto. And this, t- I mean, Wait, so you're telling me Carol wasn't even on the nominee? No, he wasn't in the top six of what of percentage lead, of goalie leaders. Same I per- missed. The, I honestly missed the goalie votes when I on the stories. I didn't see it. Yeah. I well, that. the the first vote was the top four, and Dang. then I carried the two losers over it's and paired them up with five man. and six. Yeah, I just I didn't want to pick. Doesn't Carroll have like a high save percentage? He thought he was like like seventh or eighth. Oh man! Unfortunately, come on, Carroll, step it up, dude. He, I think he just Carol, plays I'm too sorry, much, dude. I, I, I didn't want to pick favorites and yeah. then like leave out like I don't know. Yeah, I know his right. stats get a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's another problem. <laughs> yeah, because he plays for so many teams and they I get know. combined and then it just it it's a weird thing. But yeah, well, you know, maybe we can first consider reserve, him dude. first reserve. Yeah, first reserve, Carol. I thought it was a little. I mean, this one was a little bit like the so the first vote was status quo. Brad mm-hmm. and John Hood won top two goalies in terms of save percentage. Yep. So Shane Lippincott, bro, I can I can say with um, personal experience, this dude is like ridiculous. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. it's just it. So Christian Graham from the Otters and Dominic from JMCC ended up winning the vote, which is cool because it's not like it wasn't you know yeah just the numbers doing the talking, but at the same time, Shane is a fucking sick goalie. Yeah, well, Christian Graham's been playing really good. Yeah, I'm he glad, I'm glad he made out. it in. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he's uh he's he's been playing really well yeah so, so yeah so brad shooks the john hood christian graham and dominic burmeister are the um goalies goalies Can and i actually uh dominic is one of the captains of jmc okay and nice. uh, i didn't know he was goalie this whole time <laughs> yeah well, i talked to him i just don't you know Good goalie. The more Good goalie. You know. so that is your uh t- winter 2024 all-star thunder supplies lineups dude congratulations everybody there you go. So in terms of lineups, that's true for the goalie, but we still have to uh, announce the rosters. Yeah, we will be putting together the rosters. Yeah, and hopefully everybody can make it. 
Yes. So we will figure that out. And it is eight days away. Mm-hmm. Can I get into the other all-star yes. intermission no. thing that you just glazed right over? No, we're waiting until right. now. I figure that's it. Everyone came here and everyone's going to leave, but we already got our view count. So See you guys. Go. Wow. Yeah, they, they, they stayed on long enough. <laughs> it only takes He's a minute. YouTube glutton lately, it's like 45 dude. 45 seconds. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> oh, really? To, to make it count, it's 45 yeah. seconds? Yes. Yeah, I think it's like 45 that. or 60 or something. Yeah, so exactly. if somebody just likes the intro music, then yeah. that's about it. <laughs> yeah. There's a count. They like, yeah. All right. So <laughs> as everybody knows who has attended this event, that we like to do something different every intermission, right? So we had Mites on Ice. We had Dusty Referee. Nice. Yep. We had uh, Dusty with a flag. We've had some competitions. <laughs> We've had a lot of shit. We had one that we didn't show up to. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah, that Just was true. Wait, what happened? The, the, one fir- the first one. I was one. sick and uh, you were on vacation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Larry I, I thought he was sick. I thought you were sick, too. Yeah, we both were. Oh, Jerry was sick. You were on vacation. I was on Colorado. Colorado. Right. Uh, yeah. Remember um, when we used to schedule vacations during All Star games? Yeah. And now it's like <laughs> that our, that was, now it's our busiest event. That was the back. Yeah. That was back then. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was the first one. Right. So A year ago. A year ago. Wow, this is the, mm-hmm. the year anniversary. Okay. So uh, what I like to do is shout out um, you know, some of the Rusty players, right? We want to include them in everything we do, of course, because they are a big part of this league. Um, so we are going to do uh, a shootout during the intermission. You won't? Rusty shootout? Sh- rusty shootout competition. Can you I won't? ask you a question? Go. Why are you not taking part? Because I am working. So how am I going to take part if I'm working? Whatever, dude. And I want to give other guys... Uh, Everyone wants yeah. to have fun, dude. Yeah. <laughs> people, um, I want to give people the He's opportunity a stickler, to... Dude. Yeah. Stickler. It's an event, man. Yeah. So nice. I want to give the shout out. I'm still waiting on um, two teams to get back to me, but I did... Come on, Dexter and Moose. <laughs> yeah, Dexter and Moose. Come on. Come on. Um, but I did leave it up to the captains to pick two uh, players. And then we're going to have two goalies. So we're gonna what we're going to do is we're going to split it up. Haven't worked out the exact details of it yet. Um, It'll be a shootout. It's Wait, hold on, shootout. hold on. It's like survivor style shootout. Correct. Yes. So these are our two goalies. Yes, those okay. are the two goalies that got back to me, and I said, you know, who's interested? Damn. Okay. And those are the two that got back to me fast. Uh, the okay. fastest. You snooze, you uh, lose. Brian. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Brian, shout out to um, Brian Leeds, I believe, on Team Dexter Rusty. Uh, good goalie. Told him that. Uh, to reach out to your, your, his captain, but it looks like you didn't hear from Team uh, Rusty's captain. So I sorry, buddy. Yeah, I yeah. haven't heard. Um, he's a good goalie. Uh, he's looking to move up too. So okay. nice. So, uh, yeah. Any teams looking for a goalie? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm so so uh, representing the Rusty Wolves in this uh, Survivor Shootout. Ooh, Survivor Shootout. Is that that's what you said, right? Yeah. Survivor Shootout um, is uh, our boy Gus, Gus. Fiore oh. and Zach Williams. From the Narwhals, we have two familiar uh, uh, names, Steve Dennis and Kenny Kreitz, who are yeah. Yeah, both very deserving. Um, uh, fighting Chickens, we got Chris Tolomeo. Tolomeo? Tolomeo. Tolomeo. Yeah, he's Italian <laughs> for the night. Um, <laughs> Italian, and uh, Brent Allen. Yeah. And representing the Dusty Beavers, Woo-woo. Nate, <laughs> Mr. Nate Mayers <laughs> and Walter Hyde. Nice. And our two goalies are Dave Sr. from um, Narwhals. And it's not Dave like the older Dave. His I last know, name is Sr. I every time. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Would it be from, kind of funny if his, he was a junior? His name was Dave, Dave Sr. Sr. Jr. Sr. Yeah, Jr. Yeah. Jr. Yeah, kind of funny, actually. Sorry. I would go Dave Sr. the second. Come on, dude. Um, and then uh, from the Dusty Beavers, James Brennan. <laughs> So what, so what we're gonna have is it's gonna it's gonna go over both intermissions. Uh, we got this you know, is sick. Yeah, we got jerseys for the rusty shooters and the goalies, and we are gonna have you know survivor. They get to shoot on both goalies, and then the <coughs> top, however many we decide, will move on to the second intermission, and then we'll and crown a champion. We will yeah, crown we got like a little mini tournament going yeah, on. Yeah, we will crown. Yes, exactly. Yes. We will crown a champion. They will get a prize. And uh, it'll be uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. It'll be a lot of fun. I think. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for selling it, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, uh, I so they get like uh, they're going to get uh, navy jerseys. Yeah, 
So yeah. they're going to have their own special color of jersey. Yep. They will get all, all-star jerseys. Yeah, all-star yeah. jerseys, of course. And, uh, yeah. So I then, think it fits perfect. I mean, we got our all-star game. Yeah. Um, and then we got some rusty inclusion. Um, you know, I think it works out perfectly. Correct. Because we, we set up a little, like, side tournament. Yeah, we've yeah. said it in the past. We don't want to include the Rusties, um players in the game because, one, it wouldn't be fun. Two, we don't want anybody getting hurt. It's just it, the game is played at a different speed, yeah. different level. So we don't want... Um, we don't want that to be the liability, right? Yeah. Gold to Rusty is a yeah. big, uh, big guy. But we will, ha- we will eventually have a Rusty also game. Yeah, yeah. When we're we're going to have a whole separate thing. Yeah, but correct. we just don't have enough teams yet. Right. Yeah. So we for for the time being, yeah. we like to do some extra stuff um, to, to keep, keep everybody involved. Yeah. Sick. Let's and I go. Think, yeah, I think this is um, this is a good I love it. Game. I love the like, inter-game tournament that we're doing. Sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is fun. Maybe when we have a Rusty All-Star game, we can take part in the intermission shootout. Yo, that'd okay. be awesome. I would love that. I would love <laughs> That's to finally an all star game that you could play. Jeez. That you could be deserving of. Shoo! <sighs> all right. So we've done all Too this. Much? We've done all this talking <laughs> about the all star game. Um, if you're event. wondering when it's going to be, <laughs> Saturday, March 30th, 7 p.m. at the Flyers Training Center, we are back with our winter 2024 all star game. New teams, new features, new faces, but the same community. We got some kind special of. stuff cooking up because we always got to step it up. Yes. So we got um, something special. Come take part in the UAHL experience. Uh, let us know it, um, it, with the link in our bio uh, Facebook event. We have one set up. Let us know if you're coming. It would really help. Um, do you have any other things you want to talk about in terms of like the event itself? or? Yeah, so we're going to be doing a podcast. So Ooh, possibly about that. if somebody wants to come early. And hop on. We invited everybody for what the Winter Classic, and nobody showed up. We saying, always oh, say that, but we got oh, we yeah, true. No, we did. We, we did. We did for the Winter Classic. Yeah, we invited Jared. I know, but we yeah, said true. if anybody comes by, maybe we'll give. Them, we like, always five say minutes. that, but mind you, we were there four hours before the game that is started true. because Jerry's this crazy person, he is a weirdo dude. Uh, no, we will open it up to have. Uh, <laughs> we can have some. Uh, you know, people who want to be on come on. You know. Just reach out to Jerry. We gotta reach it out. Yeah, reach out to it. me if you yeah. want to be on for the for that, and we we can we could set something up. We we'll have to I set something up. Like I, I think guess, I guess you want to do like a little mini. Like I do. I want to do little mini interviews. Mini interview. Yeah, absolutely. I think that would be a fun. Uh, I think it'll be up, a fun set up. Like a and it, and it's on location, so I think it's mm-hmm. it'll be it'll be cool. It'd be fun. Huh. So let me know. Anyway, uh, but giveaways. We, yes, I have my list. Merch. Uh, if I could do. My I job. had that summer series vibe that Jerry did. When he yells summer, summer series. series. Summer series. You just you're <laughs> giveaways. Yeah, you're just yelling. Yeah. Giveaways. You want a puck? Come by the table. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Um so listen, uh so we have we're gonna have our table set up. We're gonna have some merch. Uh some new merch, right? These uh sleep long sleeves that that's me it. and Steve are both wearing. Yeah. Larry didn't decide not to wear his I got, Sorry, uh, got Saturn over here. The Invader series. Nice go. Which one will I wear? You got the Saturn. Saturn one on. It's pretty sick. And I have a uh, little alien Love. head on it. Yeah. Future. Never mind. I wore the last two weeks. I wore a shirt like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Remember, I, I so anyway, well, I love these shirts. They're really soft. They, they are very. They, comfortable. they came out. Really they fit good. really well. This is like a black heather. Yeah. And it's like a real soft. Uh, yeah. They they came out really good. They we'll have really them nice. set up. I so we'll have that. that. We'll have I've giveaways. We'll have um, you know, our special beaver. Will be there. Um, Let's go. When is he showing up? He's showing up. He always shows up uh, around the third. He likes to watch the game he from likes to the Beaver's some, Den. Drink gotcha. some Jack Daniels from the in the Beaver's car. Den. Yeah, the Beaver's Den. He um he watches the game. He enjoys it. Okay. Yeah, and then he shows up from the, the third for the dead and uh, yeah, <laughs> doing giveaways like usual. Maybe he'll do some some fun fun activities. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see what the Beaver's up to. You know? Q Q. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's it. And we'll have our normal. You know, warm ups, music, announcements, national anthem, some yeah. Then we have our activity. Let's see what else we have. <laughs> what else? That's what it. Else? And <laughs> so just scrolling through. I am scrolling through my notes. So we will. Um, we are also. We got it all figured out over here. Yeah, we are also <laughs> planning uh, maybe an after party. Yes. yes. Uh, we haven't decided where yet, but it is in the works. Uh, maybe some drink specials and stuff like that. So we'll let everybody know. I'm yeah, sure. we will yeah. let everybody know. Uh, when you check in or come in, and, you know, we'll scream it from the rooftops. Buy me a beer and I will end up buying everybody around. Did you, <laughs> we are taking Wait, did, his credit did, card. Did you actually mm-hmm. elaborate on the giveaway? No. So, no, because we it's not set in stone yet. 
You just start right. working on it. Yesterday. All right. So yeah. it'll be fun. A lot of stuff going on. <laughs> it'll be, it'll, <laughs> it'll work itself out. I promise. It yeah, usually it does. always does. Yes. yes. So, uh, like said, yeah, it'll be drink tickets set up. Yes. After party giveaway, maybe door prize. Rusty y'all are going to have a chance to win. Um, yeah. Gift card to somewhere. It, yeah. Guys, it'll be an event. Right. It'll be an event, just like every other year. It we always is. deliver. Usually if you is. guys are interested, go on our YouTube channel, and you can see uh, videos of uh, past All-Star games, yeah. now which cut, are pretty awesome. Cut in. Cut in on the edit, the no, last video. Not <laughs> yeah, can we do uh, beep, uh, whatever. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> yeah. We can add, like, links. I, I'll, I, maybe I can link it. And, yes. Uh, check but, it out down below. I'll give you something. Yeah, we'll all right, let's move on to uh, after we just stumbled over that because Jerry doesn't doesn't have it figured out yet. Let's what are you go. Talking? It's all figured out. It was a great read. He does let's have go. notes. I saw his notes. <laughs> I have a lot of notes. Let's go to our uh, league updates, baby. Week eleven recap. Let's go. Week twelve here, uh, flying flying through the winter season. I feel like it hasn't even started so yet. So Why is it going so fast? Flying. I feel like I haven't even started the season. It's the I fucking know. weirdest feeling, and it's over. I know. Yeah, like I haven't gotten and into before, my groove. Before we know it, Dusty's Cup playoffs, and we got to get in that mindset. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Spr- yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Hawks got a lot to prove this season. Let's fucking go, baby. All right. So get into uh, Monday, Hawks Gold played our team Armada, and Hawks Gold won 9-2. to two. Yeah. All-star Garrett Quinn with four goals. All-star yeah. Robert Basca with two goals. Yeah. Uh, All-star Nat Etchione yeah. gets on the board, as yeah. he always does, somehow. Yeah, He's Bascal, a shooter. Can we say right in All-star for Basca? Basca, yeah, Corey, and some charity, Garrett charity had, selection. A, yeah. had quite a game. <laughs> yeah, Garrett had, like, six points. Yeah, and Corey, too, was on his line. They fucking put up a bunch of points. Yeah, Garrett's a great player. We played with him. Uh, I played with him the first time, met him for the first time in the Winter Classic. Yeah, he's got, he's great he's got the fucking legs, which is a huge advantage. Yeah, well, you say he just did the seventy five hard, and that today uh, was his last day. Yeah, yeah, that'll awesome. give you some legs, all right. Mm-hmm. So, um, that takes a lot. Thanks yeah. a lot, Jared. <laughs> dude, that was <laughs> loses, wow. dude. All right, all right. No more water nor the pod. Sorry, man. all right. Uh, Paisanos <laughs> get a big win over uh, Militia seven to four. So that, is that their, sec- that, is that their second win? That surprised me. Uh, I think so. Yeah. So I'm glad to see because Militia is a good team. They are. So uh, they're, they're fucking hard to play. Oh, uh, very hard to play. Yeah, like they're, they're all gritty big. team. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't know. I haven't played against them yet, but <laughs> from what I see, yes. For sure. What happened in this game, dude? Uh, I was lot, like watching it. A lot happened yeah. for sure. <laughs> um, so, uh, multi ducks beat Team Dexter ten to nine. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's a crazy. It was high like back game. and forth too. I was like watching it. Were live. they playing empty nets or? Or <laughs> was, was Robbie shut up? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Robbie did not play for Team Dexter. Oh, really? <laughs> no. Uh, so he wasn't feeling well. Right. So um, Rain City beat the Blue Chew Bulldogs seven to two. Yes, sir. Rain City keeps rolling. They're just waiting to get their first game of the week. Two losses against us, you know. Fucking in no, April. baby. All right. Uh, <laughs> so uh, the Knights beat the Koopas nine to seven. That was a much needed win for the Knights. Yeah. Uh, former or er, defending champions, Knights. So uh, good to see that. That had another a lot of stuff going on in that game as well. I'll say another active game. Yeah, for sure. Guys, cut the shit. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> Otters uh, beat the Warriors eight to zero. So Christian Graham another shutout here. Nice. Uh, he's been playing really great. All star yeah, goalie. Um, Steven Linville had a hat trick. So uh, man, all all stars are showing out. Yes, sir. Week, huh? All right, so uh, Moonshine get a huge win over Team Dexter Bronze Plus. They needed that another close uh, to stay in the playoff race and stay in position because the Bronze Plus is tight. We will yeah. we will get into that. I was gonna say, should we do that after the scores? We'll we should. The, yeah, well, I'll get the race ready. Yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> Stratosphere Stars beat the Jersey Trash six to one. Um, Glassboro Goop beat the Thundercats seven to five. Uh, that Damn. was, uh, you know, interesting game as well. Yeah. Uh, some, you know, some things happen. We will, <laughs> I'll get into that in the commission notes, but, my uh, goodness guys. Yeah. So, you know, got my, sticky. my stress levels through the roof, but, uh, you know, got sticky. It got sticky. Uh, pretty sticky dude. What the goop man. Yeah. What the goop, uh, plugs. I watched this game, uh, beat South Jersey sugar bush six to four. Uh, yeah. Dunlop's Jersey Tropics get a big win over the Sheep Hockey 6-1. to one. Uh, Chris Kirchner with four goals. 
you know, I'm being, I'm being told that, you know, Chris Kirchner may not belong in Browns. Really? Yes. But I'm okay. You know, if you have one guy who stands out. Hey, yeah. Yeah. You, know, you, you want to play with your friends. Your, I think he has siblings on the team. I mean. Uh, I, so you got to do what you got to do. I can think of a couple guys that might not belong in Browns. Yeah. So. Me. I'm just kidding. Uh, I fit right in. <laughs> All right. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> Voorhees Recyclers beat Hawks Bronze. Uh, that was a tough one. Six to two. Uh, T Unit, All Star, and Gus Shootout. Rusty Shootout uh, mm-hmm. participant uh, getting on the board for Hawks Bronze. That loss, that loss hurt, you guys. It did. Yeah. yeah. That loss hurt. You, you, know, you, know what I think, you know what I think the problem was? Mm. I didn't play. Yeah, that would have made, that made a big difference. I will say what happened. Uh, we Come lost, on, we lost uh, two players before the game started. What do you mean? They didn't. They were supposed to play and did not play. Oh, oh okay. I will. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put somebody on blast right now. Let's go, baby. Alf, not his fault. Blaylock decided to show up to the rink without his gear, and that is the wow. most. That is the most typical Blaylock thing I could think. How of. do you do that? Like I don't he know. He had an empty bag, or just he, forgot his bag too. He forgot his gear. He came to having the rink. an empty bag would be probably worse. Yes, opened his trunk and his gear was in it. And when he found, I think he just didn't want to play. No, I'm going to throw that out there. Nah, Blaylock. Nah, he drove all that way? Nah, because when no he way. found out, he had plenty of time oh, to go issue. home, pick it up, come back. He probably would have made it by the second period. Yeah, but and, and we could have used period? them. I don't know. Oh, I wouldn't have done that. What do you mean? We could have used them. Why didn't you just call me? Because I was on the fence, and I saw how many people were going. It was like, I don't know, 30 minutes before yeah, the game started? Jerry, I, the writing's on the wall, bud. I mean. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, so I mean, thanks a lot, Blaylock. <laughs> dude, uh, that Blaylock, that's fucking crazy, bro. Yeah, that's rough, dude. Uh, so we have some Be games. responsible. Uh, <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, buddy. So yes, this. Uh, I guess we're the cat's out of the bag here because what? It's Friday night, and this is coming out uh, Saturday at seven. We kind of joked around and said it was live, but it's not. So you said semi live, semi live. Tonight. Awkward. <laughs> Chuggernauts play the Camden County Warriors. So if you're listen, watching this uh, or listening to this, it has already happened. So. I noticed we had a team name change here. We did. So uh, next game, James C.C. Auto versus Shaka's Bra. Shaka's Bra. Dot com. Com. That was a request from Sean. Let's um, go, baby. Shaka's. Uh, get a little bit more uh, brand awareness. I love what it. What is it? Uh, Millie. Miliani Eyewear? Yes. Oh, it redirects to Miliani Eyewear. It does. So uh, they okay. have some cool sunglasses. They I do know, have some cool sunglasses. They do. Um, I know. Uh, when, I saw when we Rob, get a pair. Rob has. I can't believe. Yeah, Rob Sella had a pair. And I was like, those are nice. And he's like, yeah, they had them. And he, I guess he grabbed a pair. Hey, Sean, what's up, bro? I thought yeah. we would get some. I mean, we could shout you out. So for, no, no, no. Wait. Until we get sunglasses, there's still the Shaka's. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking that. <laughs> yeah, take, take that off. <laughs> you guys are Shaka's. We can the wear them on the pod. Did you watch the Protect Our Parks? Episode, they all had sunglasses on the whole Well, time. they do because they take mush- mushrooms and their eyes are like, you know. <laughs> Bro, I... It was five hours long. Dude, I... Wow, those I've, been, nice I've been listening to it in the, Sli- like, through yeah. several workout sessions. Yes. And, like, it's almost hard to... To do that while you're working out because you're fucking laughing. Yeah. Dude, it's, it's it's insane, bro. It is. It really, it's it's like insane. my favorite. I'm not going to lie. Those are nice. Yeah, they are. They're nice. Oh, what do you, did you pull bra, it up on? Bra. Yeah. And, and you the know million. what? They Actually, are really nice. Yeah. We might um have a little change in All-Star, Sean. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Might a little have a little change. Yo, I'm ready. I'll rock a pair on the pod, dude. Shock Ooh, is bad. Let's do it. All right. Yeah. Uh, nice cover page. If you're wondering, <laughs> Sean, I am uh, <laughs> I usually wear uh, Ray-Ban New Wayfarers, mm-hmm. 55 millimeters. Oh, because you got a size. <laughs> <laughs> I do. So, I'm not uh, that picky. It's my face. Yeah. I got to have a certain. Dude, I'd rock those. I have a weird shaped face. I like yeah. the aviators. You do. You really of like course those. you do. Shut up, Blair. <laughs> You just wear whatever, at least. Sean will appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that Shaka. was very specific. Shaka's right. brah. That's a so major a couple, sunglass um, wearer, dude. A couple quick things here. Uh, game of the week, Rain City versus Bulldogs. Should be up on YouTube. Uh, I would assume over the weekend here. Wait, can we Wait go that wasn't that was, the That was game, game of the week. week. Yeah, Rain City Bulldogs. Oh, Rob did it. Rob did it, yeah. Rain City. He did that game, yeah. Said he got that win 7-2. to two. Gotcha. Um, do we can sit we, here and ponder over what should be our game of the week next week? Or no, do can we, we go? Tell, can we go over the Rusty Rusty review? Game yes, of the week yes. next week is the uh, All Star uh, game. Can what we I, just do that? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> game of the week next week is the All Star game. Great. Great call, Kamish. Great call. <laughs> um. 
Yeah, Jerry, I was going to say we'll do that, and then what we can do is get into our rusty preview here and then jump right into the playoff picture. So That's really sweet of you. What's Come going on, on, Jerry? What's going on in Rusty? So, Rusty, um, you know, we uh, we had a lot of complaints in Rusty. <laughs> I want to I want to just say that. So, I, oh, uh, shit. I went early. I complained. It started like <laughs> for weeks. I also submitted a complaint. You did. Yes. Okay. <laughs> wow. Um, great Jerry team. was going to get fired. Mutiny. <laughs> so so anyway, to, to so I just want to shout out to all the team captains who, uh, you know, talk. <laughs> you know, we had we had a talk, and uh, you know, we went over the rosters, and everybody, you know, seemed to yes. understand where we were coming from as a league, as a division, and uh, the game seemed to be a lot closer this week, which is yes, you know, exactly what you know we want in this division. So, uh, first game was Team Dexter versus the Rusty Wolves. Um, a lot of action in that one too. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, uh, Team Dexter comes away four three. Then the next game uh, was Narwhals versus the Dusty Beavers. Let's go! <laughs> you got to win. We got a final shootout win coming down to the very last shooter. Yeah, I heard said he got it right. He got it. So it game was game winner. Game winner. Wow. It was a walk off because was, it was, was it electric. Too, yeah, it was nice. It was good. It was an electric in the building. Yes. Yes, it was. I mean, Roof came off that bit. We didn't. We didn't. It was one of those. It's like you don't know what to do when you win. So we were like, wait, wait, is is this good? Is this a good thing? We won, right? We won. Okay, great. And then we jumped on the ice. Our, um, fifth, our fifth franchise win. Yeah, our fifth franchise win. And it went to wow. the very last shooter. Yeah. Um, but it, it was exciting. Um, that sounds exciting. James had a good game. It was you know kind of low scoring for men's league four three, uh, same as the previous one. But yeah. Uh, and then the last game, Moose Hockey versus the Chickens, um, six to one. Uh, chickens were a little short handed. I got you. Um, Moose are you know a solid team as per usual, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, so that was a uh, exciting Sunday okay. at Saki. All right, so it seems to be the race is on here to get into the fourth seed for Rusty. You got Narwhals uh, at seven points, Fighting Chickens and Beavers both at six points. Yeah. Um. Top three seem to be a little bit more rounded out. You guys have a quite a few games left, though. Right. So your next week's matchups, uh, Dexter versus Moose. You got Rusty Wolves versus the Dusty Beavers. Big game. Oh, huge game. Yeah, that's a tough I think one. it might be bigger tough for matchup. the Wolves, man. They got to get back in that. Second seed. Yeah. They do, but it's bigger for the Beavers. It is. Narwhals and the Chickens are playing each other. Um, the oh. winner of that is probably going to separate themselves. Like if the Narwhals get the win, they're going to separate themselves a little That's bit, true. unless you guys pull the win out. So yeah, yeah, that could be that could be devastating. The Chicky yeah. Nuggies need to show up. Yeah, I mean, there's still like I said, Beavers you got a few games up. left, Beavers so it's not it wouldn't be detrimental, but you know, big week. So let's get into the rest of our uh, playoff picture here. Yeah, um, I'm going to pull the full standings because. The tiebreakers because we have quite a few teams that are just sorry, buddy. Fucking. Oh, that I was gonna pull sense. it up on mine. I was gonna pull it up on mine. All right. <clears throat> uh, gold Night's Watch seven and one. They're uh, they're up there. Um, obviously, uh, team twenty four seven making their way up the standings. Um, you know this is man. It's gonna be. Um, yeah. It's looking like it's gonna be either Night's Watch or team twenty four seven versus Armada. And Hawks Gold are going to get to play one of the two, mm-hmm. so uh, that's going to be a tough first round for Hawks Gold. But you got to got to beat the best to be the best. You yeah. Know? Oh shit! I'm just yeah, yeah, you. yeah. Uh, We're working on the formula. You guys are get it. I mean, you guys are a new team, mm-hmm. so um, you're you know you guys some great players, and Larry's you know making his comeback, dude. Let's go. Three points. Preview. Let's go. Let's go. Preview. Larry, Larry Legend. <laughs> All right, so silver uh, continuing to be pretty tight, at least for like uh, <laughs> seconds or five. Yeah, I mean <laughs> everyone's still in it. Uh, Paisano's not so much, but uh, we still have the three first six. Left. Yeah, yeah. The first six. Uh, or we had a bye week this week. So uh, Rain City ten and zero. There you are with a positive sixty five goal differential, which uh, I'm assuming leads the league by quite a bit. That's crazy, bro. Um, <laughs> that yeah. might be by like double, dude. It might be, yeah. So um, the fuck Hawks uh, are in second seed with ten points, multi ducks, and a positive one goal differential. So that is, let's go. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> yeah. So um, multi ducks are holding up that third seed, uh, five and four with ten points. Blue Chew Bulldogs drop down to the fourth seed. They're holding on to that last spot. 
Uh, Militia still in it with eight points um, with three games to go. Um, Team Dexter, you know, kind of falling out of the race a little bit. Three games uh, to go. Three games to go still, though, so they still got a chance to to make a run here. They probably, Absolutely. probably got to win out, yeah. I would imagine, uh, to get in. Uh, and then Paisano's at, uh, getting their second win. Like you said, they are at two and eight for the season. Yeah. So Paisano's, come on. Paisano's, uh, missing Nico, I think for most of the season, he makes yeah. a big difference, uh, yeah, for them. Say. So, um, good to see the otters are in, uh, the first spot for bronze plus, yep. um, Stratosphere stars again, making their comeback. They had a little season off last season, I think. Um, and now they're they're right back in it. So Bro, there's um, one game left. To holy shit! Again, uh, Jordan Haller just you know willing them to victory. I think they have only 33 goals against, which is lowest in the division. That is so. Even with the Otters and Christian Graham like getting shutouts and one goals, he still has less goals against. So wow, uh, only 33 uh, goals against for him. So. Uh, Thundercats uh, are in the third spot. They all have one game left. That's what I just said. Yeah. There's only one game left, and there's, and there's four people in a is a four way tie. It is yes. Oh, that is crazy. I mean, so, Thundercats have the clear advantage. Well, not even that clear. I mean, Koopas have or look at the Koopas goal differential. Yeah, that could change in a game. What the fuck? Yeah, you can win six to one, seven to two, That's whatever. Crazy. You know what I mean, and get right back in it. So, uh, Thundercats. They don't. Uh, Koopas have the most goals, but uh, Thundercats have the second most goals scored. So, um, Moonshine holding on um, with fourteen points as well. Uh, the Knights fourteen points. Koopas fourteen <laughs> points. So I gotta see these matchups. There's gonna week. be there's gonna be one team that misses, and it's gonna be like that sucks. So, so Koopas got yeah. team. Koopas got team Dexter next week. Okay. Otters got trash. Knights got Warriors. Moonshine has Goop. They're gonna have to fend off the Goop. Yes. Stars and Thundercats. But that's win and get in, right? I mean, if you win 14 points, you're in, I think. Not if everybody not if, wins. No, yeah, I guess not if everybody wins. And yeah, it depends on the differential. They're all playing man. different teams, bro. Oh, okay. I got yeah. you. So that with wow. the differential, yeah, they got to score and you got to win. So basically playoff all start All four of those week. teams with yeah. 14 points are playing different teams. Wow. None of them are playing each other. Yikes, dude. Yeah, playoff So start. not only do you have to <laughs> win, Thunder Thundercats are playing the Stars, even though they're leading in differentials. So it's going to be tough for them to like create separation. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's a big game for the Thundercats. What the fuck, dude? This is crazy. Koopas versus yeah. Dexter. Man. Um, Koopas have been putting up points like left and right. Yes, sir. Knights um, against Warriors. Obviously, a lot of goal scorers there. Moonshine's got to be careful. I'm going to put it that way. Why? Were they They're playing? playing Goop. I mean, that's a tough oh, yeah. matchup. Oh, that is. Yeah, you can't yeah. underestimate that yeah. matchup for sure. Uh, man, that is crazy. And the Thundercats, the only reason I say Thundercats have a little more advantage is because of they do lead in the differential. So. Yeah. So Goop are mathematically eliminated. Yeah, they are. Um, Dexter Bronze Plus eliminated. Charis eliminated. Which they might finish uh, above 500 and be out. Yeah. Again, that's whoever right. ends up with that six seed. That's a that's a tough one. That is a <laughs> Bro, fucking tough. I, one. I didn't realize there was like one game left because yeah, they had a great season. You it's know what I mean? Nuts. Just you know, and it's not. I mean, we get five five get in. I mean, so. imagine the Koopas being left out. They had three like thirty point scorers on their team. I know that's like, nuts, dude. That is I wish crazy. I wish the Goop um, landed in that six spot. Why? Because I wanted to say it'd be you know it's a tough spot to swallow. <laughs> Damn it, dude. You're the only one that... Bro, so, we were so in the groove there. You're so upset, dude. You're so obsessed over the fucking goop, dude. <laughs> They're the goop. We got to get Goops and Jerry some goop attire. Come yeah, on, that know. was funny. It is funny. Yeah. All right. I got to break it up a little bit, you guys. You do. It's perfect. <clears throat> so, uh, fucking hell. Tough, uh, tough break for Hawks Browns last night, man. I that was a tough that loss. Uh, pretty much eliminated from the playoff yeah. race. Uh, yeah. So, I apologize for not showing up. Yeah, it's your fault. Yep. Plugs Hockey Club um, are holding up that first seed, which is cool, man. I like those guys. They're awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, 15 oh, points. Yeah. Plugs. Uh, JMCC Alder in second seed, but they have three games to go. Uh, Dunlop's Jersey Tropics with one game to go is in third. Camden County Warriors have four games to go, so yeah. they can easily work their way all the way up to the one seed uh, by the end of the season. So, um they're holding on. Chuggernauts are in the last play-in spot. Even the recyc- the recyclers still have a you know a pretty slim chance, but still a chance. They got a big win last night against us, so uh, that keeps us them alive. 
looking like same thing has to same thing with um, Sugar Bush. So uh, those guys just got to win and you know see what happens. You never know. Uh, it'll be tough, but you know could happen. Yeah. Jerry, you all right? You can uh, I'm yawning there? again, man. Yeah. All you know, right. The I mean, Chuggernaut's got two games left. Um, three games left. They got right. three games left. So yes. that third. I hate to say it, but you got to assume they're going to solidify a spot. They are. So, uh, you know, it's really going to come down to like what happens with they got to uh, win the, though, the Camden man. County. They, they got to win. Yeah, yeah, but the Chuggernauts. I, I, I think the Chuggernauts are pretty good. Um, yeah, they are. Yeah. So, so I mean, pretty much the first five seeds are kind of set, uh, barring a miracle. I think. Well, the, well, the th- the wild card is the Camden County Warriors because they got four games left. Yeah, so you I mean, could have um, the Sugar Bush or Recycler sneak in uh, if they leap the or even, though, or even, But Chuggernauts yeah. would have to lose out. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but I, but well, I'm saying that the Warriors have four games. They could they could fall all the way. They could they could stand pat, mm-hmm. and um, uh, the Recycler, Sugar Bush, or Sheep could catch them in points. You know. Yeah, they'd have so. to get they'd have to make up some ground for differential, pretty much. But I don't Four and I don't think Sugar Bush could do that because that's a they'd have to win by like sixteen. I feel like the Warriors just, the <laughs> Warriors just have to the Warriors just have to win. Oh one game. yeah, you're right. Yeah, so that just, would be the uh, Warriors win one game. I think they're good. Yeah, that is uh, same thing with Chuggernaut. So it'll you know it's pretty much set. But yeah, like I said, Stranger Things have happened. So yeah, that is true. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, we we've already gone over the rusty uh, thing. So yeah. playoff is is heating up, dude. Bronze plus is gonna be nuts next week. It is, dude. I can't believe I didn't. I actually this is the first time I kind of looked at it. I didn't realize how tight it was. Yeah, I think uh, that moonshine goop and the cat stars are gonna be fucking yeah good games. Cat stars are gonna be big because Thundercats basically they have to win because they do. They're pretty much. Everybody else could win and knock yeah. them right out. So yep. um, they got to win. Shit, let's uh, go! Right. I was texting Meatball earlier today. He was talking about. It. He's like, we could literally finish seven five and miss the playoffs. Yeah, dude, that's tough. <laughs> but they got a big win this past week. Yeah. So um, you know they sick, needed that. Dude. So sick. They needed that. So bronze plus is pretty awesome. That is so sick. All right, yeah. yeah. So game of the week, all star game next week. Uh, let's get into uh, you fantasy. I think we have some things to wrap let's up. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I was dreading Tell this, him, dude. Tell I him, was dude. dreading this. All right, so let's go over last week, the last week. It was last week and our last week of doing you fantasy. All right, yeah. we're wrapping it up. Um, no, I know you're going to put the <laughs> come on, son dude. Of a bitch, dragging right. it out, dude. So total points. Um, so I had uh, Amon, I guess, right? Mm-hmm. Stars, <laughs> Jack, McCafferty. Uh, Dan Morgetti and the Otters goalie. So we got a did not play a two points from McCafferty. Dan Morgetti, zero points. Otters goalie showed up. Shut up. Shut out. Yeah. But I only got two points. Yes. I needed this one. Ouch. Steve um, has John Silverio, who's not even playing, but it doesn't even matter. Let's go. Um, Yeah, he's playing tonight. Oh, wow. He he picked himself. score. Somehow got two points. Not sure how. <laughs> he picked Larry. Let's go. Three points. A little more believable. What a clutch pick. What a clutch I selection. Know. Let's go, week, baby. Dude. Like you couldn't miss that game. Apples. Dude. Uh, yeah, and bo- bo- all five of your points were assists. No goals. Hey, man. Sorry. I was playing defense. Stupid. Were you playing defense? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry, dude. Yeah, yeah dude. Stupid. Come on, man. So what are you saying? You play defense? What? I play defense. No. You play defense. Wait, what? Otters. <laughs> Zero. So, um, <laughs> that just threw me fucking through a whirlwind, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. To- you'll get it. Uh, you'll get it when you rewatch. When um, rewatch five it. points. Five points total. Let's go. Freaking A. And it could be more. That's could huge, more. man. Will be more. And then Larry. Got two goose eggs. That well, hurts. Yeah. Larry DeMarco with one point. Come Tucci, on, who wasn't even playing this week. Oh, fuck, Tucci. <laughs> great. Great. Larry pick. Keep that up, dude. No, not even the player. The whole team wasn't playing. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I. I, I did it. He was being a homer, it. dude. Yeah. Blaylock on the stars. Glad you brought your equipment for that one there, Blaylock. So, yeah. Uh, and you got the stars goalie who only had a minus one, but Should that. Good goalie picks this week. Sol- yeah, right. For the um, boys. Solid two points. So, Steve won this week. So, where are we at now? Well done. Well done. So, <laughs> that leaves us in quite the predicament. Because so me and Jerry are tied we're for the loss. Yeah, we are tied. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> you could have wrote this up any better. So yeah. now what? <laughs> so this is what I did, right? So I did two tiebreakers. Oh, he's made, he made oh! his own tiebreaker. You can't make your own tiebreaker. <laughs> You're just going to pick yourself. I made can I finish? Check your notes. Dude. It should be goalie picks because I had a minus like 15 dude, the whole season. I finish. With 20 did not plays, dude. Okay. okay. Destroyed Larry, dude. This is so beautiful. I did total points. Now total overall points. Right? Like what? Like the uh, the two, five, two. Like the, our total points for every week. Okay. Okay. And then I did another tiebreaker. Goals against. Oh, you lost by a lot, dude. Unfortunately, I lost for both. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. Bro. Total points. <laughs> you know he just wanted to be the center. He just wants to be a part of the, the I, dude. We didn't have <laughs> another was. tiebreaker. Those, if you if you were to pick two tiebreakers, what would you yeah, suggest? That, that probably would be it. Yeah. Goals for and goals against? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Total, points for, yeah. Uh, points, points, points for. Yeah, like fantasy football. You point, yeah, total points. Yeah, total points. Know. And the goals. Those were the obvious picks for me. And I was like, I had to. What were win. the actual numbers? Did you actually I did. Them? I did. So total points, I had 32. Okay. You had 40. What did Larry have? I didn't do Larry's because it doesn't matter. I might have beat Larry, dude. I don't know. Probably not. So <laughs> goals against. <laughs> yeah. You whoop my ass. Yeah. I had 33 goals against. You only had 17. Dude, that is Fucking sick, dude. So ten weeks, seventeen. <laughs> sick, goals. Dude. That is yes. sick, dude. I'm a goalie. So come on, man. I, was I I thought I was gonna at least win total points since we had like the same amount of. Um, but I had one week when I was like negative nine, crushed me. Hmm. Um. So yeah. So unfortunately, I think. Wait, wait, wait. Did you? Did you? You did the goalie included in your total points? Yes. Oh, I didn't think you. Mm. Yeah, I did total points. No, you can't do that because so goals what, against what, is a part of that. Yeah, but what about your total points, not including the goals against? I didn't do that. I oh, just, you could. Well, you can do that. It, oh shit! It was easier to. Do, it was easier yeah, just to tally up the... total points, like weekly points. You know what I mean? That's well, what I did. Yeah, but you would have won. I wouldn't have won. You yeah, may have. Yeah, I think you would have won. How many points did you have? Thirty. Because I'm totaling on my. Points I had thirty-two, now. and you had forty. You think I won in total points? Because you would... Um, and then the goals against were 17 and 33. You're saying that you difference would add is 17 bigger. to mine. That would give you the thing, right? So I had I had 40. So that's 57 points that, I, that my players scored. And you had 32. And then you had... What was your negative? 33. Yeah, so you had like 60-something points scored. No? Am I doing that wrong? Yeah, yeah you're, you're doing, doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. I, doing I, had, I had 49, like... Pure points without your goalies. Without my goalies. How about you counted that up real quick? I just did the I did a sum function. Yeah. So I. I think what did Jerry have? I, I didn't do, do his. Did, I was curious about mine. I thought I figured that's what he did. For How many points did you? No, have? I did total forty nine. Oh, barely, dude. Barely. I, barely. I did total. I did total for the week. All right. With so goalies and everything, I could recount them, but it. Jerry lost. It, I think. I think at this point you lost. I think so too. Yeah. That's what sucks about it. But you might... Man, what a clutch win at the end, dude. That was huge. <laughs> yeah, thanks for picking Tucci, who wasn't playing. What does it matter? Because if you would have won, he wouldn't have won. He would have lost. Like, you would have had five. I would have had three. He would have had two. Uh, I needed you to win. I would have two. Because you, you needed to win week. yourself, bud. I know, oh, wait, but I was but, counting. Yeah, but on I still you. have a player tonight, so I could have still beat Lair. You could have, but you needed to win yourself, Tucci's, Bucko. Tucci would have had like six goals. Well, you knew he wasn't playing too. You should have. You should have told me not to pick I him. I didn't know that until I looked. At the Tucci would have had an assist. Ah, oh, <laughs> frick, man. Anyway, so now what? an assist guy. What's next? So now we got to come up with either letting the U community decide a. We punishment. had a lot. Of, yeah, we had a lot of a good. Um, we did. Do we want to? Do we want to disca- like decide what? And then have should, the community uh, vote. Yeah, do we, we should just. Uh, we'll compile it and then Larry will put a post up and then we'll vote. Yeah, but do we decide now? Like what? What we pick for the th- like? Because we, we decided on three. I guess or three or four options. So I like uh, three options. I, 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 ice bath. I, yeah, the ice bath. <laughs> Speedo or no? <laughs> speedo or no speedo? Yeah, throw him speedo. <laughs> of course, Jerry would speedo. <laughs> for the, for the he's like, yeah, don't, don't count out the points. Don't count this was his plan all along. <laughs> for the ladies. He just wanted to wear the no speedo. No speedo. Just do the regular ice bath. All Stop right. it. Regular ice bath. So we um, had, okay, so I can kind of run through. We had switch positions with their goalies, switch hands playing. Um, and we wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wear a Dexter jersey. Uh, yeah. Dexter jersey. Carol said 
Steve should have to wear a sheep jersey so we can do some sort of like iteration of that. I maybe, wore maybe, a wolf jersey. maybe you maybe you can wear a wolf's jersey. jersey. I already did that. Carol said drink a sour beer. Yeah, but for every set for every episode of the season. We should so. make uh Jerry drink an IPA, a double IPA uh, every every episode. Dude, have you season. have you ever watched <laughs> Did you guys ever see you guys don't watch TV, but How I Met Your Mother? The show, yeah, I did actually. You did, yeah. So yeah. they had an episode where they made a bet, and the guy had to wear a ducky tie, nothing but a ducky tie, because he wears suits to work mm-hmm. for the whole year. It's a ducky tie, like a tie with rubber ducks on it. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. So he, but he had to wear that straight for a year. Oh, so yeah. So that's like saying, like, I have to wear a wolf's <laughs> jersey every time, every time for a year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, Wait, I feel like I'm missing something, aren't I? Like, then we want to do, like, all-star game Shoot, stuff? Yeah, yeah, he would have to be a goalie. But a I don't goalie. think we're ever going to find pads big enough for you. James said James said he has everything for me other than skates. Yeah. Can I shoot on Jerry in the all-star game? Well, the, <laughs> I think the plan was for all-stars to shoot on us. I like oh. that. I think that's going to win. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I get, what, what would it be, after the game or during warm-ups? Warm-ups. During warm-ups. Yeah, because you got to stand there while, like a shooting gallery. Oh, my God. It'll be like a, uh, you what? know, when they all stood. Like, like paintball? No. For what? Like an execution when they all had, every, like there was like a line of like 10 guys with a gun and only one had a bullet and everyone shot at the same time. No. That was pretty. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Well, we're not doing that. <laughs> What's it called? I don't know. But, but I'm saying for warm-ups, you got to stand there and, and take shots in warm-ups. Okay. I like that. We should just go with that. No, let let you commu- let let the community. I like the community. They're gonna vote. Pick it up. All right, so so hold on. <laughs> so what am I putting? Take uh, shots in warm ups. Yeah, ice let, bath. let all the all stars take shots during warm ups. Yeah, okay. Nothing else really was that good. Um, I like the the routine, but that would mean you and me would have to do a routine. I thought that I'm was not so doing that. <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah, I get, uh, blaze of glory routine. Yeah. So ice bath and play as goalie in warm ups. Yeah, and then. I don't know what else. We, I feel like we should have three, or do you like just two? Three's we'll have three, but maybe we'll maybe we would do a write in. So do you like a wild card? Can we do a write in? No, probably not. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. We can just say reply, reply to the story. I don't know. I I just don't. I, I want to get like everybody's to vote on. Yeah, I feel one. like we've gotten quite a few, and like this is what we got. Well, we could do. Um, well, wear, we can we can do the third one. Be Jerry has to drink a, a I, double IPA every while episode. wearing a a jersey, a wolf jersey. Or something. You just want to wear a wolf jersey. jersey. You, no, you he can not. just have to drink. No, he just will have to drink <laughs> an <sighs> IPA every episode for those next season. Oh my gosh! Okay, you're gonna be a goalie. Dude. There's no fucking way. I'm voting for the goalie. I'll tell you that. So I'm, yeah, I may dress so, and start shooting at you. Dude. So during <laughs> warm ups, you're gonna. I have to <laughs> put goalie gear on. Yes. I have to put the goalie gear on. Yes. I mean, I'm going to be working, but yeah. I have to. And that makes that's, that's the perfect because James already going to be there for the rusty shootout. Yeah. You so get undressed, he can, he can get dressed. Also, Santora said, too, like he has a garage full of shit, too. So. Okay. Awesome. But I think James may work because he's a unit and you're about the same way. Yeah, but I got to wear my skates because I don't think he doesn't have the same size skates, which is fine. No. No. Which is fine. I'm not, it's not like I'm doing game stuff. No. I'm just going to stand there. And <laughs> that's gonna be really funny, dude. I it, it is gonna, gonna, gonna go with that, dude. That's gonna hurt, isn't They're it? gonna vote for that. Yeah, I, I have faith in the you community. It's gonna be hilarious to Bro, see. You get that's gonna be fucking awesome. It only makes sense because me and Larry had to sit and play goalie and Rusty. You're gonna have to play goalie, dude. Rusty, <laughs> I'm playing against freaking the best players in the league. What are you talking about? It's gonna be sick. That's gonna be hilarious. And you're just gonna be taking shots after shots. Yeah, and it's not like a game situation. Shoot high, boys. Oh my god, I don't know what. The, oh no, you should have lost it. <laughs> I tried not to. It's not like I lost on purpose. I did every freaking tiebreaker to it's good my content. advantage. I lost. Yo. Good content. Oh, yeah. Great content. It's incredible. It's going to be fantastic. All right. Just put that in the vote. I did. Guys. Ice so, bath. so here, so here's what I got. I got Speed up. ice bath, <laughs> ice bath, play as goalie and warm ups, double IPA on every pod and then wild card slash like right in. So yeah. Is, if double, we get is like, that okay? Double IPA. Is that what we want to go with? Yeah. Because it's like Jerry doesn't like IPAs. So you get a double IPA, it's extra bitter. So he's going to be like, 
and Ugh. he's got to finish it. It's like nine percent. So we make him like shotgun it before this the episode. Or no, something? he just has to finish it by the end of the. And if we get to the end of the episode and it's not done, he's got to chug it. He doesn't ever finish. He doesn't ever finish his IPAs. No, never. He takes like a sip. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, <laughs> and he's done. IPAs. <laughs> yeah, and wow. I have so many IPAs in there that are oh like we, we have God. pretty good. All oh. right, okay. Ugh. Yeah, see, that's good. that's like uh, uh, all starting would be hilarious. It would be funny. Yeah, 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 just yeah, do yeah. That. But I have faith they're going to vote that in. Yeah, I think so, Jerry. I don't think you have a way out of that, buddy. But you just got the right. Jerry has to take uh, wear goalie equipment in All Star game warm up, take shots. Yeah, yeah. Shit. We'll put you right in front of uh, Brad Schuksta's camera, so it'll be on the GoPro and everything. Oh boy, that'll be fun. And that'll, that'll, be, take that'll be a great highlight too to go with the video. Yes. All right. Well, get me uh, an Thanks extra shirt, uh, a goal, extra goalie, goalie jersey. jersey. Yeah, we course. just wear James. He's already have one. That's true. Yeah, you're all good to go, dude. Damn it. And James got a good goalie set up, so you're gonna look good too. Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be awesome. Somebody's got to take over event uh, duties until I, I got get you. Dressed. We're not filming, so I have all. I'm free. Oh, true. don't worry, buddy. It'll true. be covered. Nah, we'll cover I don't know. You. maybe I, I might need to work. All right, this is gonna Damn be fun. It. Now he's doing it. All right, real quick, Larry's looking ahead slash dude. league sponsors. Um, some bitch. Of course, yeah. Of course, brought to you by our league sponsors, including our Rusty Division sponsor, Gitch Sportswear. Um, our Silver Division sponsor, the North Hockey, and of course, Seco Hockey officials operating our new player department of player safety. Um, last but not least, Dan Pike with Comcast is offering the community discounted Flyers tickets. Head to the link in our bio and use promo code UAHL. What? <laughs> He's like <laughs> nervous. Is he? Is he? Uh, is he contemplating? This is gonna hurt, man. Yeah. <laughs> You're good, dude. Yeah. Right. Quick shout out to uh, Gitch. Uh, helped us out with that giveaway. You guys probably should saw photos come out. Knights got some sick jerseys. Uh, deadline was today. Well, yesterday for um, <laughs> us to guarantee uniforms and, and apparel to come in by the beginning of next season. It's still possible if you get your orders in. Yeah, uh, I mean, go for it. Especially if you're like a, a bronze team or bronze plus, you play later in the week. So you kind of gain a, you can probably yeah, gain a little bit. Yeah, time. plus, you know. It's not going to hurt too much, but, no. um, and it's still possible. It shows up before, so we'll see. Correct. Um, and also of course, North hockey, our friends over there, uh, they sent a survey. So we got some things in the works. Uh, yep. go check them out on Instagram. In the meantime, they're wrapping up different tours and getting ready to go on new ones. So shout out to them boys. Um, now commissioner's notes. All right. So, uh, Jerry was talking about, uh, having a meetings with the, having meetings with the rusty captains. I just want to remind everybody, I sent an email to uh, captains, uh, just reminding everyone that it is a Rusty is a beginner slash D level league. Uh, we do make some exceptions um, for a couple guys. I got to think of a couple, uh, but they act as a uh, you know mentor development type role, and they may be a C minus player or a C player, you know. And they don't, you know, if they're scoring forty points in Rusty, no, we're not going to have that. But you know, they tone down their playing style. Um, we will be at every playoff game uh, for Rusty. So if a player is deemed ineligible while they're playing, they will be asked to leave the ice, and any points they were a part of will be reversed. Yes. Uh, so we don't do this for any other division um, because everyone else is actually it's been pretty good uh, this whole season. So no problems in those other divisions. So well, naturally we did it at first, but we've uh, uh, yeah eradicated that. Yes, I will say that you know there. And it can happen at any point in the game. So, um, you know, we will be making a, we want it to be fair for all the rusty teams. So, uh, I wrote also in the email that, you know, we understand that there is a large, uh, skill gap or a gap in skill level between rusty and bronze. Uh, so we are working on ways to fix this. Uh, we are looking to grow the rusty division and hopefully maybe separate it into two divisions. Uh, so the, Higher level rusty players may get their own division at some point. That happens with time and uh, growth. But um, uh, so there's that. Uh, next thing is spring summer is right around the corner. Uh, we have a lot, a lot, a lot of teams registered. So we definitely have um, reached capacity for some of our divisions. So if you are thinking of registering your team, please do that as soon as possible because. Um, we are going to be, you know, setting, um, there'll be some criteria for uh, gaining your spot. Yeah. So um, there's a couple, there's four or five different factors that are going to, um, you know, contribute to who gets a spot. Obviously, existing teams, yeah. uh, payment history, um, you know, a couple other things. So 
What? What's he's, he doing? He's totaling off his points now. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, anyway. Sorry. So, uh, you can go over to uhahockey.com slash join and be able to register your team. Um, you know, like I said, we have a lot. And, you know, captains will be getting a email in about seven days. So, about a week from now. Uh, with some new changes that are happening for spring and summer and some news and how to go about it. And there'll be a, obviously a survey for your team and what rinks you want to play at. Let's go. All those things. So, um, so yeah. Spring, summer, right around the corner. It is. Playoffs yeah. first, though. And all star game first. And all star game first. All right. That's it for me. Let's go, baby. Yeah. It was the a long U. podcast. The U. Yeah. We, we kind of figured that would, it would be. We, yeah. You know, awesome. Um, but a good one. Stay tuned uh, for roster, you know, roster updates. Stay tuned for our uh, community vote on the punishment. Mm. Um, and hopefully mm-hmm. we see you all at a, you know, I guess we'll have another pod before then, but hopefully we see you all over there yeah. next week. Uh, the next pod will the be Facebook at event. the All-Star game. Yeah, so. All right, give me two seconds. Hold on. Hopefully we see you all. Um, quick, yeah, yeah good. I think what, when are we going to do the podcast? Probably around like. Um, Dude, you're right. Four I would, o'clock. I won that one. 65. I can't believe you didn't do that. You. See? I, I can't believe I you didn't do that. My math first. was better, dude. I knew my math was good. 65 to 52. I won. Yeah. I had the least points. But you won when it counted. Nice, dude. <laughs> I you know, told you. That's like my fantasy fucking yes. synopsis. You should right divide there. it by how many p- games played. Take out all those do not plays. Oh, stop, dude. Yeah. Right. Carol submitted one, too. Tie, <laughs> tie the loser up in the net, and everyone the- that makes the all star game takes shots. Like Goldberg, <laughs> yeah, dude. Like uh, in the Mighty Ducks, he said. Well, so that, that kind of, I was like, definitely in the running. So I guess it kind of is, right? Well, it's too late. Jerry already lost, so vote for him. Doesn't matter. Santora yeah. said, "As Santora, ever see that dude's garage? <laughs> it's like a hockey store. Throw up in it." Yeah, that makes sense. All right, Jerry, enjoy the uh, warm ups. James got you covered on pads, frick. though. Frick, confirmed. Frick. <laughs> Freaking frick! I think I think the U community will want to see a nice bath. I think you remember. Yeah, okay. uh, no, definitely not. I think you recall before you left for the finger legs, we were like, hey, we're taking applications just in case you get lost up there. Yep. Carol said he submitted one. <laughs> he said he promises he won't say he has a good feeling about the Beavers this week, though. I have a good feeling about the Beavers this week. <laughs> there it oh, is. Jesus, there it is. Right. And Philly, Phil- what, dude? I can't I can't read my UAHL comments here. I was. I just said, all right, that's it. Yeah. I was adjusting my head. <laughs> I got one more though because this was fun. I don't like when mommy and daddy yell. Philly fan, 1967. Do we know who that is? Oh, uh, that's Hunter's dad. Uh, he said Jerry's digging a hole deeper and deeper with every opinion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't remember like which one that was about. Nice, but, dude. Oh man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just want to sh- you know shout out of course to our commenters. We appreciate those comments. That like helps you know the algorithm a little bit. Yeah. Please subscribe to us on YouTube okay, if you haven't there already. It is. There's the. Uh, I will put a button. A simple. I think I'm gonna try. Oh, there we go. I'm pretty sure it's easy. See, I think we can it. like pop, like pop in, like yeah, subscribe. Yeah, 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 well, the button, yeah, but you can pop in like different videos, like as we mention it, and I can always link everything in the bio. So maybe a giveaway yeah. for. I'll be uh, I'll be working on that. I think. Okay. A little more time on my hands. You know what I'm <laughs> so if yeah. you have any feedback for the U crew, drop a comment on YouTube. Please continue sharing the show. We appreciate all your help so far. And something as small as sharing the episode contributes to growing the whole league. Believe yes. it or not. So that's yeah. all I got, boys. All right. See you all-star game. Let's go. All-star weekend. Let's oh, go. Oh, boy. All right, boys. I'm nervy. <laughs> Aim for the nuts. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> hey. See you. <ya. laughs> all right.